As we approach 2025, the Roth IRA income limits are changing, but not the contribution limits. So here's everything you need to know about 2025 and the Roth IRA limits. The Roth IRA contribution limits are not changing for 2025. If you are under 50 years old, you can contribute up to $7,000. If you are 50 years old or older, you can contribute up to $8,000. That's not changing. What's changes are the income limits and who can contribute and that phase out range for the partial contributions. Here's some charts to break it down. So in this year for 2024, what we were working with uh, on the filing single side of things, if you made less than $146,000, you can contribute the full amount up to $7,000. If you made $146,000 up to $161,000, you are in what's called the phase out range. You can only contribute a partial amount to the Roth IRA. You can't contribute the whole thing. And that number goes down the closer you approach 161,000. Anything over 161,000, you cannot contribute directly to a Roth IRA at all. Looking at the married filing jointly side of things, same rules apply, just different numbers there. So in 2024, if you made less than $230,000 combined, you can contribute the full $7,000 amount total to the Roth IRA. If you made in between 230,000 up to 240,000, you're back in that phase out range. You can only partially contribute to that Roth IRA and anything over 240,000 is no direct contributions at all. So moving on to now what's changed for 2025 is the contribution limit stays the same. The 7,000 and the $8,000 limit still the same, but now they're letting more people contribute to a Roth IRA if you make more money. So here's a chart for this one. Looking at the filing single side of things, we are now jumping to $150,000 being that main threshold here instead of $146,000. It's not much, but it could make a difference. So if you make under $150,000 in 2025, you can contribute the full $7,000. If you make between $150,000 and $65,000, then you get that partial contribution. And above $165,000 is no direct contribution to the Roth IRA whatsoever. And we see the same thing for married filing jointly. Those limits are also increased to the base being $236,000 and the highest being $240,000. So you'll be wanting to check in on your AGI for this year, just so you know where you're falling as we approach the end of 2024 and keeping this in mind for 2025 as well. So was this helpful at all? Let me know in the comments. And if you're in your 20s or 30s and you're ready to get your dose straight, go to jazzwealth.com, schedule a call. I'm happy to chat.